Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Do y'all want some new Transformers with fast shipping and great prices? Then head on over to TerryTFClub.com, man. Terry will take care of you. He has a great selection, and he's just a good dude. If you tell him the Deluxe sent you, you might actually get a virtual hug. So head on over to TerryTFClub and get some new Transformers. Man, have a wonderful day or night. All right, all right, all right. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right. Let's do another freaking transform review. Today I got this little lady in. This is Studio Series Rise of the Beast number 97 Air Razor. Ooh. Beautiful artwork as always. You got the alt mode in there. You got the little nothing in there right there. Transformers Rise of the Beast. Can't wait for the movie. There you go. Kaka. Kaka. Deluxe scale or deluxe, deluxe class. Here she is. 23 steps to transform. All that wonderful stuff. Looks pretty cool. She does get a little backdrop. I'll show you that in a second. There's another cacao. And that's awesome. All right. So let's take a quick look what she comes with. All right. As always, first things first is instructions. Not bad. Nice big pictures and everything. Really cool. All right. She gets a backdrop. I think this is the same one Cheetor came with. Um, I'll do some comparison with him. But this is where uh, Prime meets up with Primal. You know, and all that stuff. And then... She gets two of her little rocket launchers, which are little teeny tiny ones, but they are painted gold. So that's very nice. I like that. So she gets two of those. And that's all she comes with. All right. And here is Air Razor in her alt mode. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. I like it. There's a head sculpt right there. Got the beak is painted in silver. You can open the mouth, the lower mouth. You can get in there. You don't want to get in there? Nope. There we go. There we go. All right. Ka -ka, right there. She's got beautiful green eyes. I like that. You got some nice sculpt work throughout. So that's pretty cool. Articulation. You can look down quite a bit. And swivel. You got a swivel right there. So you, you can kind of look over like, what are you looking at? All right. Very nice. All right. The wings. Got some nice sculpt work. I love the feathers right there. You got this nice metallic green. I guess it's metallic. It may be just green. It looks metallic. You got some green right here. But you do got some nice sculpt work through right there. I wish they would have painted those green or something. That would have brought those out a little bit. But you got this nice long or wide uh, wingspan right there. Articulation wise, you got a hinge right there. You got a hinge right here and right here and right here. So you can kind of have her covering up right there if you want to. Do this like that. And there you go. You can have them like that. And you got an in and out right here. Now, I think like the Air Racer from Kingdom, the mushroom peg, I've already had these almost starting to pop off. So be wary of that. They are going to start popping off probably. So just be careful. Um, but you got that. And that's about it. And you can lift the tail up if you want to. It does attach right there. So you can do that. All right, as far as you got the arms right here. Now, I kind of wish, you know, you got the brockets right here on her, the side of her uh, forearms. Kind of wish there was somewhere else to put them, like maybe the legs or something like that. I think um, Kingdom Air Razor had that. Fortunately, I do not have my uh, Kingdom Air Razor out to do comparisons. I uh, put her up a long time ago, but I kind of wish they would have done that. But I do love the feather detail right there. That looks really good. You got silver right here for the knee pad. You got some silver right here for the feet. You do got some nice silver accents and nice gold accent pieces throughout. But I kind of wish they uh, could have put somewhere the rockets and everything. All right, so as far as the leg, you get the uh, knee bend. You do have a swivel as well. As you're going to see all that with all, uh, bot mode too as well. Um, you got this right here. So you got back and forth. You got a swivel. It's on a ball peg. You can go up and down and gives you a little rock or two as well. she got some big old feet too. Jeebus. Um... And that's about it. Now, if you want to detach the legs, just like, you know, you can get a little more, um, you know, range for the legs. But that is about it. Now, she does have a port right there on her booty. You just stick this right in there. Giggity. Maybe. 
and you can have her flying and everything. So you can get her some dynamic poses. So that's pretty cool. You gotta like it. it. Looks really nice. Like I said, I love the sculpt work. It looks really good there. All right, Air Razor Alt Mode. And real quick, there she is riding Cheetor. So they're about you know both deluxe scale. I'll show you that, and you can she can ride him. There you go. And as always, Seed Red Alert, you got Magic Square Prowl, Wheelie, and Grimlock from New Age for scale. All right, back from transformation, and here is Air Racer in her uh, bot mode. I think this looks pretty good, actually, to be honest. All right, two things I forgot to do. Um, you can turn these feet around. Uh, I had them around, you know, what's supposed to be the bird mode. But this is bot mode, but you can have them any way you want to. It doesn't matter. Um, and the wings tab in right here. Uh, you can have them sprayed out. You know, you can have them however you want. You can, you know, whatever you want to display it in. Uh, but officially, they're supposed to tab in right here. Doesn't tab in that the best, you know, they will come on tab real easily, but that's how it's supposed to be, uh, per instructions. And here you go. Beautiful head sculpt. I love it. Love the whole feather look up here. Looks really nice. Got some nice silver paint, the green eyes, and you got some gold too as well. I know it kind of blends in with the gold plastic, but that head crest right there is painted. It looks really good. I like the head sculpt. Like I said, I like the little feather look, you know, all that stuff. Articulation side to side, you have to lift up over this little, her um, shoulder pieces right there. But it'll go about to right there. Won't go all the way around. I don't think, I mean, you can manipulate it, but really don't really care. You don't need to really go all the way around. Um, you can look down, not much. Look up, if you, you know, it will untab this right here. But if you look up a little bit, not much. So not much on the head movement right there. And moving on to the, you know, the chest area, you got the bird. Right there, nice gold paint right here for the crotch area. Love, love the feather uh, detail in here. That looks really good. You got the, you know, her missiles on the side. She can hold them too as well. That's very nice. And you know, you got some nice gold accent pieces throughout there, but nice very right there. Okay, so you can go up to there, 90 degrees. Uh, you can go all the way around and manipulate it around that area right there. You can... You have a 90 degrees elbow bend, bicep swivel. Nothing, no swivel for the hand, but you do got to up and down just because of transformation. But I kind of wish that locked in a little better because it does a it's a little loosey goosey there, but it's all right, all right. But I love the sculpt work on the shoulders; it looks really good. Like I said, the wings you can spray out the wings like this. You can untab them. You can do them however you want to, however you want to display it. But officially it goes like that all right moving on down to the waist you got the head right there the bird head now you do have a waist swivel but you have to lift up the bird head a little bit because you don't it won't really move so well it can move it will move but it just you know it will start you know moving the bird head out of the way but you can get that if you uh lift up the bird head a little bit or the hawk head not the, you know whatever you want to call it but nice sculpt work, and you got some nice silver paint for the thighs. And once again, this nice sculpt work, the feathers right here on the thighs look really good. Uh, no ab crunch. You do have a uh, Van Damme all day, every day. These are on hinges right there. You can kick up to about right there, which is pretty good. And go back, and you start running into the wings and everything. No thigh swivel, but you have a knee swivel. Kind of wish you had a thigh swivel. 
but you do have a knee swivel kind of make that up and um my knees are kind of loose a little loosey goosey i may have to put some kiki on there you do got some silver paint and some gold paint for the knee pads and the uh, shin guards as well uh, so uh you got more than 90 degrees for the knee bend which is nice once again you still got that the feather sculpt work looks really good all right and you got this part right here kind of i wish it kind of locked in a little better but it will have the you can have this up like that too as well but you can have the you do have a foot up you know up uh there and you do have a swivel and you do have a little rocker which is a little bigger but you do have one there so that's nice so you got toe tilt up and if you want to go down a little bit you can too as well so very nice i love the green on the feathers looks really good and on the back you got right there once again you got to see all that sculpt work it was really good got some gold paint right up there in the back yeah a little hollowness right here behind the knee but not terrible but it gives you more of the 90 degrees uh, knee bend all right and the feet are painted silver as well oh, real quick i forgot to mention this i love how you can use the wings they can fold up and you can use them as shields so that's pretty cool and i've got to point out the uh, maximal symbol is right here on her forearm it's a little silver maximal symbol that's pretty cool but i forgot to mention that uh it was going over mainly that arm right there but yeah i like how you can use the wings that's pretty cool so and real quick here's what i have so far of rise of the beach we got core class rc and then we have voyager cheetor so i got a core a deluxe and a voyager so far so there you go put her off to the side and next to her you know, cheetor which looks really good a lot of brown and gold going on right there <laughs> There is next to each other, so you can tell that she is quite smaller than Cheetor. Well, there you go. Looks pretty good. All right, so there you go. And there she is next to Tits McGee Redgar. You got Optimus Prime back there, Ironhide, Sideswipe, and Core Class Wheelie for some scale. And Crapper Gunners, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmax, Care Bears, Kicker, Squeaks for more scale. Let's talk about some Studio Series Rise of the Beast Air Racer. Overall, I really like her. She's really fun. Um, you know, the bot or the alt mode looks really good. I like it. I like that you can use a stand for it. I love all the sculpt work and detail for it. You know, on the back of it, you got the feathers in there like that. Looks really good. Articulation pretty good for her as well. You can get her in some dynamic poses and everything. So I really like that. Uh, so yeah, the alt mode looks really good. Uh, transformation easy just about the same engineering as the uh, kingdom air razor so it shouldn't have any issues with that and i think uh, her and cheetor go well together so yeah really easy on the transformation it's fun shouldn't be that hard to figure out bot mode really like it articulation it's fine not the best i wish she had a bigger rocker and i also wish that um you know some of the stuff like the ab crunch, or not the ab crunch but the waist swivel you do have to move the bird's head out of the way it is there, but, you know, it's just kind of meh. Uh, be uh, wary of the mushroom pegs on the wings. They will pop off as well. Uh, but, yeah, overall, the paint, I really love. I like the gold. You got the green in there. You got the silver. So, yeah, really good on the paint job. And they painted the weapons, too, as well. Looks pretty good. So, overall, I'm really impressed with her and Cheetor, man. I'm excited for Studio Series and what they're going to do with the moving line. Uh, materials feel good, too, as well. You do got some, you know, gaps and everything, but eh, I'm just used to that. But yeah, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments, some of you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Rise of the Beast and hell freaking Air Racer. Can't wait to see this movie. And I highly recommend this one. She's pretty fun. I like it. Hey, hey, fellas, over there. Hey, is that a hawk on a bear? I, I think it might be a hyena. No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's Air Racer and Cheetor. They're in the new Rise of the Beast movie.
Rise of the Beast, but there's another Transformer movie coming out? Yeah, yeah, man, that is awesome. But they don't look like Cheetah or Man Air Razor. Oh, but anyway, um, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we had a movie? Man, yeah, floor time? Man, we got Chicken, we got Dirt Fire, we got uh, Alpha Bravo, we got Kick the Baby, man, and uh, Pooper Scooper. Man, it would be an awesome movie. I'd love to go watch that movie. All right, floor time. Gotta love it.